quick chat about Rio Signature, Moxie, Rainbow Raider, and Rookie Artistic. Join me. Here at the United Skate Shop, shop.unitedskates.com, and here I am holding the Moxie Rainbow Rider, the Rookie Artistic, and the Rio Signature. Now the reason I've got these three out is because we've done a review on them all and uh, the feedback, there's been a load of feedback and a load of questions, a lot of emails, right? So this seemed like the most sensible next best thing to do, okay? So biggest question is people are asking what is the difference between all of these, right? So first of all, I'm going to single out the Rio Signature, okay? So the Rio Signature, I'm singling that out first because there is a clear difference. So many similarities, but there is a clear difference, right? Okay, first things first, Rio, at their best, give you a lovely canvas bag with your skates, right? So that is one plus, I would say, for a uh, Signature, okay? These boots are all at a similar price point, I've been asked so many times, what would I choose? And it's so, so difficult, so, so difficult. And I don't kid you on, because I'm not here just to sell you skates. I'm here to be honest with my reviews on skates, right? Okay, so these are all, in my opinion, other opinions are out there, are all entry level roller skates, okay? So if you've got a hundred quid, you've got to try it and, you know, entry level, hundred quid or thereabouts, you know, a bit shipping, whatever, right? Okay, you're not going to spend any more than a hundred quid on these, all right? Um, time you ship them and get all the bits and pieces that you want to get. So you're in that market, a hundred quid, and you're wondering, oh, you've reviewed them, that's good, that's good, that's good, but oh, what one's James? And the emails have come on, James, if you were to choose, what would you choose? Right, so, singling out, Rio Roller first, right, okay. The clear difference here is this boot, like the rest, is equal in many, many ways apart from that. That there is nylon or plastic, whatever you want to say, it is certainly a nylon plastic plate where you will experience through time a bit of flex in that, depending how tight you've got your trucks, okay? Now, trucks and everything like that, some folk have them really loosey-goosey because they like to dance about it all the time, right? And they like to turn really quickly, but you're learning, right? Okay, so the biggest difference here is the energy you put through that boot to that plate, that plate is going to flex to a certain degree. Depending weight and what you're doing and all of that, there'll be an element of flex there, right? So that is the difference between Rio, Rookie and Democsy. Rio give you a nice bag, they have the nylon plate, 82A wheels, stopper, adjustable stopper, nice and comfy inside, we've already done the review, okay, so I don't need to go into that again. So that's the difference with Rio Signature, okay. Right, let's go on to, oh, let's hit the Moxie, right, okay. Now the Moxie, biggest difference between the Moxie and the Rookie Artistic is colour. That's the biggest difference. These are black and white. That's what they come in. These come in black, yellow as you can see, and pink. Now, it's asphalt black, but I like to call it tarmac black because we're in Scotland and we invented tarmac. No other reason, right. So, what's the difference out of these? Because that's what has been coming down to recently with emails and texts and messages and emails to the, the shop page and stuff like that, right. Colour is the main big difference, the colour you get so many more colours with Moxie. The other difference is Moxie is the brand of the moment where everybody's like Moxie, Moxie, Moxie. Michelle and her team over in America, they're doing a fantastic job on YouTube where they're doing everything Moxie that they do, okay? So it is, at the moment, vibrant, good retro vibe about it, you know what I mean? It's a hundred quid. Um, but here is the difference from the signature. It has an aluminium plate, okay? Now that is an aluminium plate, okay, with the adjustable stopper, 82A wheels. 
Same as the signature, all right? Apart from the plate, apart from the colours, apart from the retro vibe, okay? Although the signatures have got their own wee vibe going on, their own set of colours, right? You get the nice colourful laces. That is the big difference here, okay? I cannot separate these as in quality of build, as in, look, aluminium plate. Try saying that very fast. Aluminium plate, <laughs> okay, 82A wheels, adjustable stopper, white or black, nice and soft inside, right? Now, big difference, I would say, retro, vibe, colour, you know, what's happening right now, all about the Moxie, okay? This is, you know, to compete with these guys, this was made to compete with these, okay? So, entry level, 100 quid, you know, Entry level, 99 quid, 89 quid, whatever they are on the skate shop, shop.unitedskates.com. Same thing, aluminum plate, you know. How do you separate these? You know, very difficult to separate these. It is down to you and what you like the best. Do I want the colours or do I just want a black or a white skate? You know, these aren't designed for skate parks. But I know people that use them in the skate parks and I know someone that is using one of these because their aim is to use it to destruction in the skate park before they upgrade, okay? And ain't that bad. So, as I was saying, right, because we got interrupted there, schoolboy error, left the phone ringing, so we've had to cut that and then cut back to what we were saying and I have to try and remember what I was saying. Yes, anyway, so we've covered what the differences are, we've covered that it's colour, it's V that, Everything is the same, apart from, I would say, width. So it's not just the colour. It's not just that they're exactly the same sort of build. Hell, they even smell the same. I would say it's width. The Moxie certainly looks that little bit wider. Let's see. And I would say, looking at the sole as well, they definitely look wider. It might just be that these are pulled in with the laces and these haven't been laced yet. But looking at them, and certainly the people that have had them on so far, they're all saying that um, they are, or they feel, a bit wider. So, width, colour, black or white, exactly the same. Same price point, it is down to you and the choice you make. So remember, Rio Roller, similar price as well, all entry level all for beginner skaters, you are going to get to the point within six months where these have served their time because they've, you've learned how to skate on them, they've served their time, they've done you well, they might last, you might upgrade the wheels, you might upgrade the stopper because there's still plenty of life in them, that's fine. When you go inside, I've said this before, 82A, brilliant indoors, outdoors, excellent for outdoors you might keep the wheels as an outdoor wheel because when you go inside you get good at it you get better at it, your muscles and everything your legs all everything gets stronger you need a a, 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 a harder wheel that gives you a bit more uh, speed indoors and, th and that's another uh, video down the line so there you have it folks that's the difference there is no biggie between these other than color and these it is the plate that's it that's my opinion on it and I've had so many emails on that, that's why I've uh, done the video today. So thank you very much for watching. What are we going to do next? You might have heard me go on about a wee um, skate park boot that I've been waiting on coming. HMS Bunt has arrived! Look, look at the bloody size of that! Yes, I've got big feet. I'm a ten and a half, stroke eleven and one and a ten and a half and the other. So, HMS Bond will be the next review that I do and I'm going to build these and I'm going to use these myself and they'll be going to the skate park with me as my antics um, they might be getting retired because I fancy these are a whole lot lighter but that's for the next review anyway james at unitedskates.com if you want to email me any more uh, questions queries uh, shop.unitedskates.com if you are just looking and you want to get any one of the entry level boots or there's a whole load of stuff on the website help yourself thanks for watching 